Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Blaze by Tress Allure and the color Chocolate Swirl. I'd like to thank Andrea and Wig Studio One for providing Blaze for me to review for all of you. I was very excited to get this new style. But you know, sometimes we look at styles on the stock photo and either they look beautiful or not so much. When I looked at the stock photo for Blaze, I thought it appeared very dense in the front and nothing could be further from the truth. Blaze has very light density and the permatease is minimal on this wig. They're using some new type of fiber and honestly I cannot and I didn't write it down and I should have. Maybe I'll put it across the screen here for you. It's a new fiber that Tressalore is using. They claim that it looks and feels like human hair, even though these are traditional fibers. And I have to tell you, I have to agree with their claims. It looks and feels like human hair. It is amazing, amazing. It is so, so soft, so silky. It's just um, perfection. And yes, this is one that I will be keeping in my collection because I think it is gorgeous. I, I just recorded the unboxing for Wig Studio One. If you want to see the unboxing on how it looked, how Blaze looked right out of the box and what I did, please head on over to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed over there, please subscribe. We have our regular reviewers and we also have guest reviewers. That way you're able to see what styles and colors look on a variety of different skin tones, facial structures, body types, you get a wide view and and many of us review the same wig so if you are closer to someone who is petite or someone that is taller or someone with a fairer skin tone or a darker skin tone you'll be able to see on the wig studio one youtube channel and i will certainly leave it linked for you down below i am i this video will probably go up first before the one on the wig studio one channel but i will leave the link to the actual uh, wig studio one youtube channel listed down below so you can uh, head on over there and subscribe and that way when my unboxing comes up you'll be able to see it i didn't do anything uh, as you'll see in that video i used my paddle brush to separate the fiber some and I used a little bit of wig wax. I did it all on video to style it up here off the face with that little curve. I didn't do anything else to it. I, and it wasn't necessarily a face flopper. It just, there, it just, it just came down across my forehead and I prefer more of a lift if you like it with the with the uh, sweeping, then you, know, then you don't need to do what I did. I just wanted to let you know. Mine is in the color Chocolate Swirl, and I, I don't pick these colors. When, when these wigs are sent to me, I don't pick the color, I don't pick the style. So I was very intrigued by this color because I wasn't familiar with it. Oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. Chocolate Swirl, we have a medium brown, we have need with medium auburn and we have some golden blonde. This is right along the lines of Caramel Kiss from Aesthetica. Uh, definitely very close to Caramel Kiss from Aesthetica. I would say also um, uh, Tobacco Rooted from Ellen Villa. I can't think of which one from John Renault because the John Renault has a little bit more red, like toffee truffle. The highlights have a little bit more coppery in them. If I can think of, if I think of one well, as I'm editing this video, I'll leave it here across the screen, which it's closest to. But when I took it out of the box, the one that immediately came to mind was Caramel Kiss from Aesthetica. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to stop saying it now. 
All right, let me talk a little bit about the fit. I have, since I have uh, lost the weight, I've gone from a 21.75 circumference to a 21 and a half. Blaze fits me very large. The same that happened with Picture Perfect, the same that happened with Feathered Bob. I have, and you'll see when I show you the cap, that I have the adjuster cinched all the way to the center. Uh, my opinion is, and this is just pure speculation, that Blaze will fit up to a 22 and a half inch circumference because we have a lot of stretch and because it, it just seems to run a little bit larger. If you have much smaller than a 21 and a quarter, I think that you'll have to do the crisscrossing or sew some wefts or something like that because it does run on the larger end of average. Here is uh, the ear tab and here is my hairline. As you can see, I have excellent, excellent coverage. On Blaze, we have a full mono top and we have an ear to ear lace front. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lace front. We do have a little bit of lighter fibers framing the face. Not so much around here, but we do have it right around there. We have an overall length of 22 inches on Blaze. The front is 10 inches. My face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters and my neck is five inches. The nape is 15 inches. The crown and the sides are 15 and a quarter and the weight is five and 5.1 ounce. Now, even though it weighs 5.1 ounce, which sounds like an awful lot. Blaze has, I would say, average density it, and kind of leaning towards the lighter end. You don't feel, or I don't feel as if I have a lot of hair here. I think it's very manageable. I think that if you are used to wearing wigs and you love long hair, you will absolutely love blaze because it just feels so comfortable and like i mentioned we have a little bit of permatease but even if you are not a permatease fan i don't think that this will bother you because it is so minimal it is only just a little bit around the crown and that's it all right let me show you blaze on all sides definitely a long piece and even if you don't like and i say this every time i review a long piece if you are like me and you are over 60 i know that sometimes or many times we have heard that over a certain age we shouldn't wear certain styles or we shouldn't wear certain lengths well first of all i don't i don't follow rules especially when it comes to makeup and it comes to hair I, there are no rules as far as i'm concerned if you are a little bit hesitant about a longer piece but you'd like to have a longer piece to have for updos to maybe do a side ponytail you could do a messy bun and just, I think that as a messy bun, I think it looks really cute. If you don't have this low hairline like I do with Blaze, you'll be able to wear it in a nice ponytail because the coverage is amazing and because the density is just perfect for either a high or a low ponytail. I can't wear it that way. And the only reason is my low hairline. As you can see, I could um, tuck it behind the ears. And it just tucks fine because the density is very, very realistic. Wear it with a headband. Do a half up and half down. And what I'll do here, I'll just add some root powder to match it 
with uh, with the wig. You could do a half up, half down, and that looks really cute. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see chocolate swirl in the daylight. I'll show you the cap, and then I'll come back. have a full monofilament top and we have that ear to ear lace front absolutely beautiful it's a double knotted by hand actually I had the privilege of attending a training where we were taken kind of behind the scenes and they showed us how these uh, tops were made and how they do the double knotting and it's by hand and someone is sitting there just sewing these one by one. Thought it was very interesting. We have um, felt covered ear tabs with nice stays. We have a non-extended nape. And if you notice how much I cinched it in all the way to the middle, we have Velcro adjusters and I put them in to meet right where the tag is. And the cap is very, very stretchy. And here is an inside look of the color a little bit closer. So you can see the golden blonde and the auburn. This is a non-rooted color, but I don't think that uh, even if you prefer roots, I think that you would love this. Absolutely beautifully, beautifully done. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Please let me know what you think about Blaze. Let me know what you think about Chocolate Swirl. If you love long hair, is this something that you would try? And if you don't wear long hair, is this something that you think, hmm, maybe I should get it? I would love to hear from you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.